Today, we are going to go over how to create a branching survey in Microsoft Forms. Branching is very useful when you have questions that may not apply to everyone filling out the form. For example, on this webinar feedback survey, I have a question asking if the class was engaging. If you disagree with me, I want to know why. If you were satisfied with the webinar, I don't want you to go through a bunch of questions where all you have to do is mark an A. In this sample form, I have two questions that my target audience can skip. First, we're going to add branching to question three, which is a statement, this class is engaging. Select the question and navigate to the bottom right side of the question card for more settings for question. And then select add branching from the drop down menu. From here, I will decide what happens next. If they agree, I want them to go to question five. If they are neutral, I'm still going to let them go to question five. But if they disagree, I want them to go to question four. And then I'm going to do the same thing for question six. Because we're already in the branching options, I don't have to select the three dots. All I have to do is say, if yes, go to question eight. If no, go to question seven. And now that I'm done adding my branching, I can click back to look at the full survey. Now that we've set up the survey, it's a good idea to go to the preview option in the upper right hand corner to take a look at what the survey will look like. And here you can see it starts with three questions. So now I can fill out the form to make sure the branching works exactly the way I wanted it to. When I get to question three, I'm gonna say that I disagree that the class was engaging. And then you see that question four opens up and I can now explain why. As we continue to fill out the survey, the same thing happens with question six. If I say, no, I did not learn anything new during this session, an additional question is going to open up and I can provide my feedback. Now all I have to do is click submit and the survey is done. Now I'm gonna go back and test the survey to make sure that it still makes sense when somebody answers the question that they agree with the class being engaging to make sure that it still makes sense and goes to the correct place when the branching takes effect. So now we only have six instead of eight questions and they went to the places that I intended. I'm happy with how this survey turned out, so now it's time to share it. Navigate to the upper right hand corner and click on the green share button. This is where you can adjust the settings for send and collect responses. The default where I work is only people in my organization can respond, meaning you have to work for the same company I work for in order to answer my survey. If your organization allows it, you can choose anyone can respond and then generate a link that can be sent to people outside of your organization. The other option is specific people in my organization can respond. With this option, you can choose this and type in a name, group, or email address to narrow down who can respond. For example, maybe only the marketing team can respond. As the owner of the form, when people begin responding, you can come back and check out the responses tab. The questions that I formatted as a free type or a date show me the latest responses. The question that was multiple choice shows me a pie chart. I have entered some fake data to have two people agree, one neutral and one disagree. And as you hover over the pie chart, you can see the corresponding answers. Now one person disagreed, so I want to see more details about that. When I click on the link, another floating dialog box opens with the name of the person and their answer. Another option is to scroll to the top of the form and click on view results. This gives you the complete form for every person who responded. If you go back to the top, you can click the drop down and see the name of the individuals. Now I submitted all this fake data, so it's all my name. In your case, it will be different names. Let's click the back button and look at another option. You can open the survey results in an Excel file. I find this to be particularly useful when I'm trying to evaluate the responses as a whole and look for patterns and trends. If the form is not anonymous, you will see their email address and the name of the people, and then you will see the answers to the questions. 
If the form is anonymous, you just won't see the name in the email. For more information about forms, check out the video that's on the screen now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.